Steve one, Chris here, also known as the Dark Toy Lord. Today we're taking a look at this Transformers Titans Return Legends Class Kickback Action Figure by Hasbro. Uh, real quick, uh, we're going to take a look at the packaging. you got your standard package uh, that we've seen with pretty much everything. Uh, figure sealed in its bubble. Uh, we have artwork up here on the top. Beautiful artwork, I may add. Uh, one of my favorite uh, characters growing up. Um, spin this guy around to the back. We have some pictures of the toy, plus a little write-up about the character. You can see right here that this figure can be transformed in a total of nine steps. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get this guy opened up, and we'll take a closer look at the action figure, the details, the articulation, and the transformation. You know, it's a real shame because I really did like that artwork on this box. It would be nice to have been, you know, to cut it out, maybe post it on the wall. But you really can't open up these packages all that gracefully. You, you've got to rip the picture, and that is unfortunate. Package contents include the instruction manual. We have the collector's card slash tech spec. And I guess, uh, I guess, you know, the artwork on the box was destroyed, but you do get that artwork here on the card. I think I, I jumped the gun in my little bitch session there. Uh, but it is much smaller, so the artwork on the box would have been a little bit nicer on the wall. And then, of course, last but not certainly not least, here we have Kickback. Let's go ahead and take a look at robot mode articulation first. So his head can spin side to side. And you can also look up, like look up a lot. So I'm guessing that's part of the transformation because that's pretty extreme movement. Uh, shoulders and elbows are on ball joints. No sort of wrist articulation. No waist articulation, but I saw this and I instantly got all giddy because his chest pops open just like the original Generation 1 Insecticon kickback. His chest popped open, but of course back then that's because he was actually um, a, not a reissue, not a remold, but he was a, a Diaclone toy first initially, so they used to have drivers that fit in him. So that was a, a cockpit that was carried over from his Diaclone version. So even though this is far removed from the Diaclone days, it's still kind of neat that he still has that opening chest piece. Moving on, his hips are on ball joints as well as his knees. Now this joint here for his foot is really more part of the transformation, but you can move his foot up. It can probably help you get into other stances or poses. Alright, let's go ahead and transform this guy. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take his head, we're going to spin it around. And then uh, there's the uh, extreme look up motion that I was talking about earlier. So we're going to pull his head all the way up. And then from his back, we're going to reach around, grab the insect head, and pull it over his robot head. The antenna will still stick out as the insect antenna, but you can see his head is now covered. Uh, from there, we're going to take both shoulders and we're going to pop them out and pull them down. And then we're going to take the toy and we're going to spin him around. Now this is where it's going to get tricky because we don't have a lot of room to work here. Uh, let's take the insect legs and we're going to push them towards the front making sure that the uh, robot arms stay here along the, along the sides and we're going to try to pull them towards the back a little bit. So we need to just kind of work the arms in and we're also going to spin the forearms and we're going to peg them together. And the appropriate position for those front forearms is both fists will be facing what would be the uh, the underneath or the under, underside of the insect. So getting these arm pieces in place was kind of tricky. So you essentially need to get them both folded underneath the robot, get the forearms up down here, I guess where his, uh, his crotch section would be, 
and you're going to peg the two forearms together because you're going to essentially become the insect's rear section or, or bum or whatever you want to call it. So that was uh, that was kind of tricky to uh, to finagle it there. Nothing <laughs> with no finesse whatsoever. You just try to peg them together and try to position them in place. So once we have the forearms pegged together and in place, we can work on the the rear legs. And essentially we're just going to keep them straight and we're going to come around here to the feet, pull the insect leg out here, then extend it down like that. So pull the leg out and flip it down. And that's pretty much it. Then now we can just kind of work on uh, positioning a little bit. So the front legs for the insect are already in place. We can spin the wings around to the back. And just kind of like work on positioning of the hind legs. And here is Kickback's insect mode. So I am super excited that they finally released Kickback. I finally have the full team of three Insecticons. The unfortunate thing is that these three guys were released over several different series. Uh, it took years to get all three of them in hand. So the sizing and the colors, it's it just not a perfect match. Uh, you can see Shrapnel or, or Scrapnel as they call them uh, now, plus Kickback. They're a closer match to each other in regards to uh, the purples and the yellows. But uh, Bombshell over here um, the purple is, is definitely a darker purple, and he's got more gold colors instead of uh, yellow. So he's kind of like this sore, sticks out like a sore thumb. Maybe if I put him to, in the center as a centerpiece, uh, and the others to the side, it's not as bad. But, um, yeah, I guess it is what it is. I'm still excited to have all three of them. So there you have it, Transformers Titans Return Legends Class Kickback. Uh, like I said, he was my favorite Insecticon, so I'm thrilled that I have a new uh, version of him. I definitely recommend picking him up. If you have any questions at all, please let me know down below. Please comment, like, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined, and as always, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you next time.